Photosynthesis. A process by which chlorophyll containing organisms capture light from the sun and convert it into chemical energy. <coughs> Carbon dioxide enters the plant through small openings under the leaf called the stomata. The carbon dioxide then combines with water absorbed by the roots and is photosynthesized into a form of sugar and oxygen. The oxygen is released through the stomata openings and the sugar is distributed throughout the plant, providing it with energy to grow. Seventy-eight kilograms of gristle, muscle and sound decibels. I am not what was intended. I display all the characteristics of a person. Hair, skin, teeth, but yet I lack something, as if I was unfinished. For as long as I remember, I had trouble sleeping. But it was one night, a night like any other, that my mind questioned the validity of my new job. Was digging holes for the recently deceased really worth the dirt and grit they collected under my fingernails? Mm. Mm. I found myself looking forward to working each day, just so I could rush home and pick the dirt from under my fingernails so I could eat it. I don't quite know why I became so fixated, but as time passed, I got these overwhelming urges to go down the side of the house where I would hide in the garden and just start eating mouthfuls of dirt. I know what you're thinking, but it just tasted so good. The taste, its gritty texture, the granularity, absolute perfection. Whatever I ate at restaurants or prepared food, I had to have dirt cooked in all my meals. Dirt casseroles, dirt sandwiches, dirt soup. I came to realise that I loved the aroma of the earth. I began to travel out to the country where I'll bury myself in the soil. My body would have to rely on the earth alone to keep it warm. It was now that the dirt and myself acted as a single entity, as one. Without the dirt, I was useless, and without me, the dirt was useless. Little sprigs and tendrils began to shoot out between the pores of my skin. Potato shoots, carrot shoots, celery shoots. Eventually the sprigs grew into vegetables and began falling off me. Now I relied on no one but myself because I could photosynthesize and eat the vegetables that grew from my body. And this, this is what empowered me. I had become my own ecosystem. The end.